Well, you guys got another video here for your Microsoft Edge settings to change to enhance your browsing experience. If you are using Microsoft Edge, it's best to change some of these default settings to get a better experience when you're browsing the internet. The first thing I would recommend is to remove all of this news feed. It's a bit of a nuisance and it can also contain uh, links to malware sites that are trying to infect your PC. So be very careful on what ones you uh, click on. So click on the gear icon and then use the rocker button where it says show feed and toggle that off. And this will turn off the news feed that you have in Microsoft Edge. Now I made a video showing people when you click on some of them links in the news feed can lead to scammer sites, Microsoft scammer sites. So you definitely want to turn that off in my opinion. If you want to get rid of these promo uh, links here, all you need to do is toggle this one off here and they will disappear. You can then uh, delete any ones that are left behind and then you can add your own shortcuts to sites that you want. So for instance, if we wanted to add a shortcut to say YouTube, all you need to do is click on this here, give it a name. You can call it wherever you like, YouTube. And then we can give it the URL, which is HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and then www.youtube.com and you've just added your link to YouTube and you would just click on that and it will take you straight to YouTube. Don't worry about the icon. It will show up when I shut the browser down and reopen it or refresh it. It will start to show and you can see it's now working perfectly fine. Let's go through a couple of other options here. So I'm going to click on the gear icon one more time and you can see here there is an icon here that says background and this will turn off the background if you don't want a background if you want to edit the background and change it to another scene you can do right here and this will change the image to whatever you like you can even upload your own images to this location if you wanted to change that image on the background but if you don't want it you can just toggle that off it's very simple if you don't want to be notified about the weather you can toggle the weather off and you'll see the weather right here and if you just turn that rocker button off, it will turn the weather off. So if you want it just nice and clean and you don't want any sort of stuff like that, you can do turn it off. This is where you can change the appearance and colors. And you can see right here, you can make it a color of your choice. And you can even have images if you want to and themes. You can even have dark theme if you prefer to use the dark theme or light theme. And you can do that by just clicking on the top icons there where it says overall appearance. I'll quickly show you just so you can see, but I'm going to leave it on light theme for this video so you can see what I'm clicking on. So that would be the dark theme and we'll just leave this on system default. Okay, so let's move on to uh, uh, the next one right here. So I'm going to go back. So let me close this off here and we can close this one off right here because we've done with this one right here and we can move on to the next step, which is removing the favorites bar right here. If you find that a bit intrusive and you want to remove the favorites bar, because as you add favorites, they're going to show up on your browser at the top. We need to do is click on the gear icon and then go to favorites. And then from the favorites here, you'll see three little dots. Uh, my logo is slightly covering it, but on the three dots, you would just click on the three dots right here. And from there, all you'd need to do here is show favorites bar and put it as never and it will disappear just like so. And you've got a much cleaner uh, browser look in my opinion. Next up is uh, virtual tabs. If you want virtual tabs, right click on a tab that you have at the top here. And from here, you'll see turn on virtual tabs. You can click on this and it will open up a little bar on the left hand side. The size is customizable. You can just grab it like this and pull it in or out and make it your own size. Or you can click the little arrow, the back arrow up the top here, and it will make it nice and small like this. And when you hover over it, it will uh, get larger so you can actually see the tabs. And this gives you a bit more real estate and it just looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion. Give it a go for a while and see whether you get on with it uh, better than the top tabs. And if you want to put it back, it's pretty straightforward. All you need to do is right click on this area right here and it will allow you to go back and turn it off. So let me just right click here and you can see turn off vertical tabs and it will go back to having top tabs again. Next, we're gonna take a look at the media autoplay. Now, when you go onto some websites, you'll notice that 
the videos in the corner will start auto playing and you can stop that by blocking uh, the media autoplay. So go to the three dots here and go down to the settings page and then on the left hand side here we want to go to cookies and uh, site permissions right here. Click on this one right here and then we want to navigate down to the bottom. So all you need to do is just go down to the bottom area here. I'm just going to pull this down. And until you see the area that is called Media Autoplay, click on that option and you'll see it set to Limit. And uh, you can actually turn this off and block it and it will block those from autoplaying. Unfortunately, when you go onto places like YouTube, those autoplay videos that you're hovering over will also be blocked as well. Uh, but if you want to allow that, all you need to do is add an allow to a website that you want to allow into your selection if you want to block just about everything that auto plays on websites. And some websites overdo this and it can get a little bit annoying and disturb you. So if you want to allow a site to run, you can just put in uh, the website here to allow. And that should control the audio and video that are starting to auto play on websites when you visit them. So if someone is overdoing it a little bit with some of those videos that auto play and they're playing in the background, this should stop them from running. So let's take a look here at some other options available to you. So let's talk about the search engine. Let's face it, Bing search engine is not the best out there. And if you want to change it to something more suitable to yourself, you can change it. So let's go ahead and navigate down here under privacy search and services. And I'm also going to turn off this do not track as well or turn it on to block it uh, when the requests are asked and you can also see allow sites to check whether you have payment uh, methods saved and you can also turn that off if you wanted to and then coming down let's go ahead and do the uh, search engine and it should be somewhere down here so let me just quickly uh, try to find it right there you can see it underneath where it says uh, use dns as well a little bit further down you will see uh, an area where it says add uh, bar and search you can go in here and you can this this is where you can manage your search so you can see it's going to being recommended by default and if you wanted to change that you can put uh, google or duckduckgo or whatever it is you want to add into yours as well you can actually um, add in here as well the search box if you want to turn the search box off you can put it to address bar if you want to and it will default to google Anytime you type anything, it will show up on Google rather than showing up with Bing search. And that's another useful feature if you wanted to do that. You can add some other search engines in there if you wanted to and select that one if you wanted to as another sort of default search engine. Another one that you can do here underneath here in the cookies and site permissions, we're going to come down a little bit and we're going to turn off those pesky notifications that keep popping up on your browser so it says ask before sending recommended and you could just toggle this off and you won't get those notifications anymore that just complete pestering you every time you go to those particular websites so turn that off will completely stop them from sending notifications and from here as well if you wanted to allow the notifications for some sites what you can do is toggle this back on so let me go ahead and toggle this back on it says quiet notification requests right here you can have this one right here but for my case i'm going to completely turn this off because i don't like them to uh, send notification requests to me when i'm browsing so that's the notifications part next you can change the dns of your browser so for instance by default your dns will be your isp but if you wanted to change it and use another particular type of dns to block certain sites that you don't like uh, maybe adult content and things like that you can do from here so you can go into use secure dns to specify how you look up at the network address for websites and from here there's open dns there's cloudflare there's a uh, clean browsing for family filtering if you wanted to set it to that and you've got some other ones like uh, google as well so depending on what one you want to set it to you just select it right here and you should be good to go and it will use that dns over your your own uh, you know personal isp dns and this is just for your browser so this is just for what you're browsing on the internet so let's quickly uh, refresh the browser here 
And as you can see, when you close it, it's going to ask you to try to go back to uh, using Microsoft Bing's search rather than Google's or whatever search you've selected. So now we can see the icon and everything is set exactly how we want it. Now, if you want to turn off the actual Copilot and the sidebar that is on the right hand side here, I'll show you how to do it in this one as well, because some people don't want Copilot and some people don't want the sidebar. Uh, but what you need to do here is I'll show you how to get rid of all of this so you don't have it on the browser if you don't want it there. If you do, then you can leave it alone. But go to the actual uh, three dots here and we'll go to settings. Once the settings window opens, you want to look on the left hand side and you'll see sidebar. My one's already turned off, but if it was always on, you will see the sidebar right there. And that's something that people don't like. But if you like it, you can leave it on. If you want to turn it off, that's where you turn it off. You can also customize it if you want to as well. But I just prefer to turn it off completely and it's not there. Also, right inside that same area. So let's go back to the three dots and go to settings and sidebar. And we can also turn off right from here. We can personalize our sidebar and turn off the uh, Copilot as well. And this will remove Copilot as well. As you can see, show Copilot, just turn that off and that will disappear. And you can see show shopping notifications as well. And we don't want to see shopping notifications, so you can turn that off. And that's the shopping notifications gone. So that's pretty much that uh, option done right there. Now there is another shopping one that you can turn off and that's back inside the settings pane. And under uh, this one here, privacy search and services, come down and underneath uh, where it says right here, you can see right away down, you've got personalized and advertising here under the service tab. We've got some options available here. We're gonna leave those alone. But down on the services area here, you can see it says save time and money with shopping in Microsoft Edge. You can turn that off right here because that's going to be adverts and stuff like that and shopping ads. We don't want that. And you can also see some other options available here. You can go through and uh, check mark what you don't want and just uncheck them. And I think that's it. I think we've covered just about everything we need to cover. And you should have a nice, clean looking Microsoft Edge. And actually, Microsoft Edge browser is not as bad as what a lot of people make out. But if you don't want to use Microsoft Edge, then that's fine. But that's basically how you can make Microsoft Edge a lot more better to use uh, than what it is by default. And in my personal opinion, it's a much more better user experience uh, having these settings set like this. And you can do a search right here and it will go straight off onto Google and find everything you need on Google when you search it right here. So let me just quickly do a quick search here so you can see. And it's not going to use Bing. It's going to basically use Google search exactly what we want. Anyway, I think that's about it. Let me know in the comment section whether you want to see any other ones of other browsers that we have, whether it be Google Chrome or whether it be uh, Firefox or any of those, and I'll try and make those videos for you. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Your names are rolling up on the screen with your tier one, tier two or tier three. I do appreciate it. Anyway, I shall catch you in the next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.